Hey, how are you doing everyone? This once again, this is Dario from Media Box NT. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build your own mining rig. In this part of the video, I'm going to show you all the parts required to build your own box. All right, so check this out right now. Okay, so let me show you what we need. Uh, we need some angles. These angles actually bought in a Home Depot. They're 96 inches long, okay? And we see the measurements right here. They are uh, one quarter inches by 120 by 96 inches. So I pre-cut this already. We need four or 27 inches, four or 16 inches, and four 11 inches. How we're gonna mount this? We're gonna use self-tapping screws. So it's pretty simple, easy, fast, number eight by half an inch, okay? Wood, I use pine wood. You, you can use whatever you want, but in this case, pine wood. And the 16 by 3.5 by 1 inches. I'm going to only use two pieces. You're going to see some rig people use five, six. I'm only going to use two. I'm going to need more than that. All right? And that's the only thing we need to build a rig for now. All right, so let's start putting this thing together. The first thing you need guys to do, just build it the two bases, all right? The bottom and the top, as you see I'm doing right now. Uh, how much I spent for this? I think it cost me about $35. I used uh, three 96 inches long. Okay, you can have some uh, extra ones, but you're going to have to buy three. Two will be not enough. Again, why this one is 27 inches? Because I'm building a nine video card rig. If you guys going to be anything smaller, you can cut down a little bit. Just remember, you cannot cut that too much because you're going to have the power supply and you need the motherboard. So normally they are about 26 inches. So this one I did it an inch longer so you have enough space. You're gonna see that in the video. So the, what we're gonna do, we're gonna try to build all the square. I'm gonna put only one screw to each corner, okay? Later on when it's all built, we can go back and reforce it and put in each corner. We can pull the self top in the screws. But this thing works real good. Like I said, it will take you about maybe an hour, an hour and a half by the time you cut everything. And, and I use one of the woods just to hold it. Okay, and as you see now, I build one side. Okay, I'm going to force it there. And then I'm going to build the top side, the top of the bottom. Okay, and you see sometimes I use a piece of wood, the one I'm going to be building later on, to hold the motherboard. Just to get it more square, you can use something else if you want. So when we got the two tops built, Okay, the top and the bottom, we're going to use those pieces of uh, 11 inches, all right, that we cut, okay? And that to make, that will be the high of the rig. Now, I think we'll figure in the beginning, remember I said to you, and we're going to only use two pieces of wood with this one more. After I did the video, I said, oh, you got that one, because I'm in the building and putting it in together. Uh, you need one at 27 inches long, as the white uh the rig is going to be because that's going to hold the video cards okay so you need three all right so you need the two pieces going to hold the power supply and the motherboard okay you don't need more than that um and then you need another one to hold the video cards that one's going to be as long as the rig if the rig is 27 inches you're going to need a piece of wood the 27 inches if the rig is going to be smaller you're going to cut that one smaller the normal size is about 25 25 and a half 26 I did an inch longer because this this rig is going to hold nine video cards. If you guys are going to use six, you can cut down a little a little bit the side, make it a little small. Just remember that you, you need enough space to put your motherboard and you need space also for your power supply. Okay. Now, this, this particular rig is going to be running a simple mining. It is going to be three parts video. This is the first one. I'll show you how to build the aluminum structure. Okay, the next one, okay, the next video coming up soon, I'm going to show you how to mount everything. And the third video, how to config is simple mining. If you want to run simple mining, it runs on Ubuntu, you want to run that, that was beautiful. Also, safe space too, because I don't need to put a hard drive. We're going to use a small 32 gig um, USB time drive. So it's nice and small, we just plug it in the bank of the motherboard, I don't need another piece of to put a hard drive or anything it costs more money this is cheaper and faster that will be the third video so this will be three parts i'm going to be releasing um soon sometime in the follow week so after you see this eventually we're going to put the links on the video since this is the first part it's not going to be any links 
But eventually, after a while, if you see this video later on, I'm sure will be all the links there. If not, just where it will come out. I have to do some editing in those videos. Okay, so let's get to put together and let me show you how this thing will look. We speeded up the video a little bit now. All right, so we almost done there. So now what we got to do, we're going to be measure uh, for the motherboard. I see now it's all, all done. Looks real nice. Later on, we're going to come back and, and finish every corner. We're going to put some uh, soft top in the screw. I think that looks perfect. Pretty heavy. Looks real nice. Okay. Let's see. What we're going to do now, we need to measure where we're going to put the motherboard or the space. And the reason for we have to measure, because if you look the motherboard underneath, you have where the holes, the CPU, and it's always high compared to the rest. Okay, and you have a piece of metal, so you don't want to put a piece of wood because then when you mount it there, okay, it's not going to be even. I mean, you can use a stand off if you want, but I didn't want to spend the money. We don't have to, we need something just to hold the motherboard because you're not going to be traveling with this, you're not going to be doing a lamp party with this, you're going to put it in the corner, so in the basement, so in the house, and that thing is not going to even move. You just move it once, maybe to clean, and that's it. So we need like about two screw, three screw to hold the motherboard, and that's it. But that's we want something heavy anyway to hold the whole thing. So like I said before, so we need to put those pieces of wood, and we're going to measure it. We're going to see where exactly we can have a nice space for the motherboard. It's not going to look, the piece of metal is not going to be right underneath the piece of wood. So let's do that now. So we're going to put one in the corner. Always I put the first one in the corner. Okay. And now we're going to mount the next one. All right, the size. It would do is not cutting perfect. That's what I'm playing around a little bit. But let me show you. Let's move to the next step. We'll put it there and then get the motherboard and I'll show you right now. All right, so let's, let's mount the motherboard. Okay, so we put there the space. Let's get the motherboard. There's an answer 270. You see, so if you put it right over there, we need to look the space. That's why I'm moving and I show you now on the motherboard. Why? Because if we look the CPU, okay. So I need to move it. I'm sure I can need to move it more. And so we're going to look now and to make sure that piece of metal underneath the CPU is not going to be right underneath the wood. Also, it's good because you're going to have some air under the motherboard. See, I'm make sure I'm looking there. Okay, let's see. You see, that's what I'm talking about. You don't want to put the motherboard right there underneath the piece of wood. This will be nice because um, it's going to be some air. I mean, you can make it nice if you want to put the stand off and make that higher like in a tower. You can do that, but I don't think you you have to spend the extra money for it. And that works fine. This is my fifth rig, and they work perfect. So when we have this now, we're going to mount this um, those pieces of wood. I know where to go. So I already mount those. Technically, you're supposed to use uh, not self-stopping screws to hold pieces of wood, but the hole's fine after everything's been so compressed, and it, it will not go anywhere. Okay, and I go nowhere. All right, let's finish now with the last screw. And also make it the whole thing when you put those two uh, pieces of wood, just make it like more uh, oh, good to hold. And then we got it right there. You see the whole thing. So now we need to get that piece of wood. Remember, I didn't show you in the beginning. And that says to measure to be able to hold the video cards. And I'm going to show you right now how that works. Okay. Okay, let's get that piece of wood now. And let's see. How now, what I'm doing now, uh, you can see a better camera. What I'm doing now. I try to calculate the high, okay, just to hold. See, we need to, the only thing we'll do that, it will not flip down. It will make the car uh, keep not moving because the weight of the car will just hold on the piece of wood. If you want later on, you can put a screw right there on the on the video car underneath, but you don't have to. I don't have none of those. Just one at the top. So I measure now. You're going to mark and let me show you how this thing will look like in a second. Okay. And now another thing too, if you're going to use a self tapping screw, make sure you pre-drill this. The only reason is because if you're going to drill this and you have the motherboard when it already pre-installed, okay, you have the aluminum coming out and that will be real bad. Okay. So make sure um, don't do that. All right. So you're going to install the first one and you're going to see what I'm talking about. So remember the piece of wood needs to be as long as the rig. And you'll see what I'm talking about in a second. You see the 
the card is not moving anywhere. So now I'm measured so I know exactly where I have to put it. Okay. Just put one card and you see what I'm talking about? It stays there. And let's mount this thing. All right, so let me show you. You see what it looked like now? Okay. You see now what is the purpose for that piece of wood? Only just to hold the video card. Just go now and just put all the screws around in every corner. So that looks perfect. And that will be it. Listen, guys. You see how I put all the video cards? So the next video, we're going to actually show you how to put all the cards. We're going to mount the hardware. Going to show you the power supply. And we're going to do all that part. And then the next one, the configuration. Okay? I think that, that's the part you're going to spend more time. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And now you have an idea how to build your own rig. If you have any questions, anything, please let me know. Post it. I will try to help you how to build your, your own rig. And make sure you check my next video coming up soon where we're going to install all these things together. And the next one, we're going to power it up and build the software.